What's up, Team USA? This is Noah Lyles, fastest man in the world, and we are out here in Paris getting ready to go on our tour of the world, introducing America to the Olympics. So let's get hyped, let's get excited, and I'll see y'all out there. World champion Noah Lyles definitely seemed excited, right? Will he still appear this way after the Olympics, or even midway through it? He is pretty confident about his abilities. You heard him introduce himself as the fastest man in the world, after all. But some say his dream of winning four golds is a bit too lofty, even for him. Some, well, many, argue that fast-rising Jamaican track star Kashane Thompson might just give Lyles a run for his money, at least in the 100 meter. The 23-year-old is, after all, the fastest in the distance this year, with 9.77. He made it to the top of the list after his victory at the Jamaican Olympic trials at the end of June. That performance followed times of 9.82 in the heats and 9.84 in the semifinals, and Thompson now sits joint ninth on the world all-time list. Shortly after that, he effortlessly cruised to a 9.91 win at the Gulai Istvan Memorial in Hungary. What's more, he successfully beat a strong field, including world silver medalist Letzal Tabogo and two-time Olympic finalist Akani Simbine. This year is the best I've ever been health-wise, Thompson said after his performance in Kingston. Running the three rounds at this championship has helped me better understand my body and the sport. I was never short on confidence, but I believe I have much more to do as I can run way faster. Deep down, I look forward to some great competition and nice vibes from the top sprinters. Anyhow, the Jamaican Olympic trials demonstrated to the world that they are once again producing excellent sprinters like Kashane Thompson, who set a new world lead of 9.77 seconds in the 100 meter. He was one of those competitors who made little news in the month leading up to the Paris Olympics, but his abilities were enough to startle the track world. Even though many fans believe that Kashane emerged out of nowhere to dominate the sport, this is not the case. The 23-year-old raced in several major competitions last year but withdrew from the Jamaican Championship semifinals, despite winning his heat with a 9.91. He even clocked a 9.85 at the Wanda Diamond League in Siamen, but only finished second. As is everyone else, he is eyeing up the top step of the Olympic podium, and the bookies say he has every right to, favoring the Jamaican over Lyles, the reigning world champion. In fact, some even named him the heir to Jamaica's sprinting throne, that's still up for debate, though, especially since the margins separating Thompson and Lyles are nominal, though. Thompson leads the American by just four hundredths of a second in raw timings. Adjust the times for wind, though, and Lyles takes the lead by two hundredths. It is no secret to anyone that Jamaica and the United States have long had a rivalry in the sprinting events at the Olympics. Prior to the 2020 Games, a Jamaican or an American had won the men's 100-meter sprint in five straight editions of the Games. Now, instead of the rivalry being Justin Gatlin versus Usain Bolt, it's Thompson versus Lyles. At the 2023 World Championships, Lyles won the gold medal with a time of 9.83. At the time, Lyles seemed like a shoe in to win the Olympic gold this year, but Thompson has gained significant ground on him since. The Jamaican opted to not compete at the World Championships, citing the need for a reduced schedule to heal from injuries in order to prepare for this year's Olympics. Turns out, it was a great strategy as he now holds the world lead time in the 100 meter. Anyhow, odds makers say that it's a two horse race for the 100 meter gold medal at the Paris Olympics. In various betting sites, Noah Lyles, the reigning world champion in the 100 meters, became an underdog in early July. The American had previously been the betting favorite to win gold in the event's final on August 5th. Today, the new betting favorite became Kishane Thompson of Jamaica. It is important to note, though, that at 26, Lyles has the experience advantage over the 22-year-old Thompson. Still, the younger Jamaican appears to be in slightly better form heading into Paris. The last American to win the gold in the Olympic 100 meters was Justin Gatlin in 2004. Nevertheless, Lyles remains a massive favorite to win gold in the 200 meters, his best event. 
He hasn't lost a 200-meter race since 2021 and currently holds the American record of 19.30 seconds. Third on the odds board for 100-meter gold in Paris is Oblique Seville, also from Jamaica. Seville had a 9.82-second performance in June. You should know, though, that he only holds the fourth-fastest time in the distance this year. While Jamaica's Thompson is first and America's Lyle's third, it is Kenyan sprinter Ferdinand Omanyala who has the second-fastest time with 9.79 set in mid-June. The question is, are any of these sprinters ready to challenge Usain Bolt's Olympic record of 9.63 seconds? Well, it may be highly unlikely, but very fast times are possible in Paris. Who's to say it's impossible though, right? Still, it is safe to say that among them all, it is Noah Lyles who has the biggest goals. When Lyles settles into the starting blocks at the Olympics, he will be on a mission to claim four gold medals and as much attention as possible. Lyles does not care how exactly people first learn about him, only that they do. And for those who watch, he offers a promise. To be honest, I feel that if you watch me, you'll see a show every time, Lyles said. And I would love for everybody to come out and see the show. And that's everybody from little kids to future to Lewis Hamilton. I truly believe that this sport is actually extremely fun. And I really want them to come out and watch because I know after they watch a race with me, it's not gonna be like anything they've ever seen. To be fair, we have witnessed his explosive runs time and time again. As a matter of fact, he has been dubbed as the Usain Bolt successor. As Athletics searches for a successor to Usain Bolt as the sport's undisputed male sprinting star, Noah Lyles is shooting free from the pack. The great Jamaican's world records remain out of reach, at least for now but Lyles appears to be the one who has the most potential to break them. In fact, last summer, Lyles became the first man since Bolt to secure a sprint triple at the World Championships in Budapest, a glorious, gilded confirmation of the potential that the American had long shown. The 26-year-old had proved himself as the world's best over 200 meter twice previously, but it was his victory in the Blue Ribbon Sprint that shot him into the stratosphere. Lyles had traveled to Hungary as an outsider, third at the U.S. trials and in the shadow of compatriot Christian Coleman as the two settled into their blocks on the start line. Coleman, who was the best starter in the world, flew out but slowed up. Lyles surged through, past Letzel Tobogo and Jarnel Hughes and into the history books. Days later, Lyles and Coleman were both part of the fearsome American quartet that proved too quick for the rest in the 4 by 100 meter relay, completing Lyles' clean sweep of the male sprinting titles. Not since Bolt in 2015 had the feat been achieved, but it is not the limit of Lyles' ambitions. He was the fastest man ever to do it, Lyles said, referring to Bolt's Olympic treble. And soon, it'll be me. Will we see that happen in Paris? We'll have to wait and see. For now, here are others who touched down in Paris alongside Lyles.